again, Sarah's mum. I'd just like to say a few words about my daughter. Sarah was born in 1975 and it was a very hot summer. The fashion was miniskirts and bell-bottom trousers and the Beatles were at their peak. But nothing was as special as me becoming a mother for the first time and giving birth to my beautiful baby daughter, Sarah, who was named after my grandma, Sarah, who was also beautiful. Who could believe this was 40 years ago? I can't believe it, and I am her mother. It only seems like yesterday that I was singing Rockabye Baby to get her to sleep, putting plasters on her knees, crying with pride at her graduation and at her wedding to Justin, and yet again when she became a mother to beautiful Olivia and cheeky chappy Sam. To my special daughter Sarah on your 40th birthday. I love you and hope you have a wonderful birthday with everything you wish for in the future. Hi Sarah, it's Bernard here. I'd like to wish you a happy 40th birthday. Enjoy the evening and just to let you know how proud I am of you for what you've done in all the years. Hi Sarah, it's your grandma and I'm so thrilled to be able to speak to you like this on this very special day. Your very special birthday. Have a wonderful day. Love you lots, Grandma. Hi, it's Ben. Um, my earliest memory is that I don't personally remember it, but I get told a lot that the day I was born, um, you were too busy washing your hair to come and see me. It was either that or you actually didn't like me at the time. Um, that's one of the memories that definitely brings a smile to my face. On top of that, being thrown out the house many a time and climbing over the side gate, trying to get me to open the back door. Um, or even messing up all my Lego after I'd neatly put it all together. But despite all that, you're still a fantastic sister and I love you very much. I hope you have an amazing birthday. Love you lots. Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm Sarah's favourite sister. Um, I met Sarah for the first time when she came to visit me in the hospital. Um, when it says I was 15 years old when I was born. And the first memory I have was playing Rosie and Jim in her room. We used to dress up as all the characters and we used to put on the clown hat. Um, Sarah was the first person who taught me how to walk, aged two years old. After the doctor said I was just being lazy and Sarah had enough and she made me walk towards her. I've always looked up to you when you were, uh, when I was younger, quite literally. You were the first person to teach me how to dance. I wasn't the best dancer and you made me stand up next to you and you showed me all your moves. And now I'm really good. You've always been there for me and given me great sisterly advice on all the topics and for that I'm truly grateful. Sarah, so I just want to wish you a huge happy birthday. I'm so happy I'm able to celebrate with you. Hope you have a fantastic party, a great year ahead and an overall amazing time and I love you so much. Hello Sarah. Well, I am definitely your longest friend. We've actually known each other for exactly 14,609 days. Uh, in that time, we've definitely got a lot of unforgettable memories. Uh, things from me not wanting to step on your kitchen floor at your house, uh, to us becoming the most regular weekend visitors of the Dalmini, uh, us being professional stalkers of the whole cast of neighbours, the rich and famous, um, not forgetting also the bonus that we're actually family. Um, anyway, 40 years has gone far too fast, but I'm very much looking forward to the next 40 years um, of lots of fun and happy times together. Uh, lovely Larks wishing you the most fantastic 40th birthday um, and very much looking forward to celebrating. Hi Sarah, it's Rochelle here, if you remember me. We first met at the beginning of high school and it was a very long time ago. I've actually written a little poem, so here goes. 
We became firm friends in September 87, back when we were just 11. We met on the 739, and after that I knew we'd get on just fine. There's only one thing I remember about the school skiing trip, and that was Bernard pulling over for you to be sick. A maroon Fiesta was your very first car, but on our first journey, we didn't get very far. We were halfway to school when you started to feel uncool and puked in your lap. Enough said about that. We had our first girly holiday in Porto Banus with Zoe and Martine. We had a right scream. The next few trips were in Tenerife, where we managed to cause a bit of grief. Our last holiday together was in 1997 in the classy resort of Magaluf with Danielle, where surprisingly you managed not to be unwell. Throughout our friendship, we've had lots of great memories. Then we got married and gained husbands and babies. Now you're turning 40, have a cocktail on me. Hope you have a fabulous birthday party. Birthday and a great party. Lots of love from the Rudolphs and me. Hi, Saz, Maxine here, or as you know me as Maxine Rifkin Nuthead. Um, we have been very good friends for over 30 years, which is very scary. Um, we met at school had plenty of sleepovers and parties. We went to Sunnybank Youth Club together, making lots of mess. And then we parted, parted ways, went to different high schools, but then came back together for uni. First day, driving there in your Peugeot, is it 205? Singing Sonia songs. What else could we sing? Going, going, on, going to Liverpool. Spent... Plenty of nights out in Liverpool, having fun, carried on, becoming living streets next door to each other. You even nicked our grass, if I remember. Um, everyone's weddings, everything else. We've had amazing times, we're going to have more amazing times. Um, and just happy 40th birthday. Can't believe I'm saying that. Saz, I am such a good friend to you. I started holding your hair back 20 years ago when you can gracefully be sick into the toilet and I'm still doing it now. And I will continue to do it forevermore, I'm sure. Hi, Saz. Um, so we've known each other about 21 years. I can't believe that. Um, when we met at uni at Hillel House, you were very unhappy in your residence, so you decamped over to Hillel and thankfully they found a room for you and somebody left and we've been friends ever since then all through uni we lived together in second year um uni and um there was that very funny incident which you didn't find funny at the time with the window and the neighbor which i won't elaborate about um and then obviously we had all the fab uh, parties together at uni all the fun times and then after uni we we're at each other's weddings and we had some great hen nights and some great parties together so we've just had a blast um you're so funny and you're hilarious and you're so kind and generous 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 to everybody um and you're very organized like myself so it's also why we get on so well and you're one of my bestest friends um and i can't wait to share your birthday celebrations with you and obviously it's so gorgeous that our girls have grown up together and have become friends and are going to be in high school together and hopefully they'll continue to be really really great friends like we are and being a fellow september birthday um i can't wait to celebrate with you and obviously you celebrate with me and we'll turn 40 together so i wish you an amazing night and um an amazing celebration hi Saz, it's dina or as you know me deans i um, known you for a very long time now and I first met you uh, when Martin and Justin were living together um, and spent many an evening in your company which was very nice. Um, had amazing times together when you lived on the same road as us but you've now moved um, and it's just not the same without you. Um, so we've had lots of parties with you knowing every single word to every single song like My Way and um, I just remember when we went to Centre Parts together, a very funny moment was when you went to the toilet at the end of the meal and Justin um, stole your after dinner mint and you were furious and you never let him forget it. Um, but we did have a fantastic time and um, I just want to wish you a very happy 40th birthday. Welcome to the club finally. 
and um, I hope you have a fantastic night and love you lot. Hi Saz, it's Nat. Um, we met when we were 18 at Liverpool Uni, um, that was 22 years ago. I remember the days when we went to the Hague and the Cavern and had like a few drinks together, had some good times. Just want to wish you a really happy 40th birthday and um, hope we have many more happy years together um, and um, just to say that what a great friend you are um, and Dave and I send all our love. Happy birthday Saz. Hi Saz, it's Andrea here, Andrea Berger. You may know me as Andrea Marcus when we met years ago at Liverpool University. Um, I will remember, I actually don't remember meeting you, but I think um, I was at Hillel. Um, I think you were in your second year, I was in my first year. Um, I remember parties that you had, I remember going to the time tunnel with you. Um, it's Raining Men, your favourite song, you love that one? I also remember you helping me um, with an audition that I had. Um, um, I can't remember the words now, and I'm certainly not going to sing it, but um, but then there's more. Do you remember that one? Um, and I think you know the words too, and if you want to have a little sing, you can show everybody your singing. We were also lucky enough to have two gorgeous girls, um, Nicole and obviously your gorgeous Olivia, in the same year, um, which is gorgeous. I remember taking them to the little trampolining place we all used to go to. Um, and I just wanted to say have an amazing night tonight, happy birthday, enjoy yourself and I'll give you a kiss later. Bye. And, hello Kirby, yeah. it's Ricky Ryan Lawson. What? <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> Hi Saz, just a little message from me. So my earliest memory of you, one of them, is being at uh, the hospital very pregnant, so I hadn't seen you forever, and I saw Justin's car in the car park, and who would have thought that 24 hours later, I had a slightly longer, no, shorter labour than you, 24 hours later, we both have our girls on the same day, in the same room, not at the same time, obviously. Some of the things that I think about when I uh, think of you are the many, many times that we've been out with the HCP, uh, the nights away, Leeds, we went to Amsterdam, which was amazing. And one of the things that I think is the most hysterical is when we were playing Heads Up and we were playing the music challenge and you tried to get out the words Ricky Martin, living la vida loca, and it came out completely wrong and you said, oh, Ricky File Outin! And every time I watch it, even when I think about it now, it makes me laugh. So thank you for sharing that and pulping that into my head. I, I shall think of you always and laugh. One of the other things that I think about Sarah, unfortunately, and I hate to say this, is um, you do have a habit of peaking a little bit too early, and I'm sure you and most of the people that are watching this will probably understand what I mean by that. Um, you are hysterical when you have peaked, and I'm sorry, but I do think possibly at times drunk Saz is far funnier than sober Saz. And um, obviously it does help when you are in that state, when your favorite song comes on, and I automatically think of you every single time I hear a certain Bonnie Tyler song. Happy birthday, Saz. Welcome to the club. Have a wonderful evening. I love you lots. Mwah. Hi, I'm Nikki. Sarah, I've written you a birthday poem. We met when the kids were very small. The bond that was made can't be broken at all. Then with Dal, Kez, Gale and Cindy, we became more commonly known as the HCP. The nights out we've had, many songs to be sung. When you've taken the stage and at the top of your lung, Screamed Bonnie Tyler with all of your might. I need a hero till the end of the night. We've laughed and we've joked, good memories we've made. They'll be treasured and remembered and hopefully won't fade. The sun goes down, the stars come out. You're one of a kind, there is no doubt. Your organisational skills are second to none. But please, can I have my hat back when you're done? Happy birthday, Saz. I hope you have a great day. Hi, Saz. Okay, so I'm going to go back probably about, I don't know how long I've known you, I think it's about eight years, maybe maybe less, six, I'm not sure, sure. All I know is there was five original, the Spice Girls, yeah, and that was Cindy, you, Dal, Nikki and Kez. Um, yeah, you look like the Spice Girls and then I came along, but I was the older one, so I guess that makes now the Nolan sisters <laughs> more like that, I'd say. Uh, my first meeting with you was probably on a night out, and I think you remember that night, Saz. Do you remember the 80s? 
We went to the village, I think it was Dal's birthday and it was our first big night out and needless to say we got hammered and the sensible Saz that I know, the one that you can text and say when's the Bavit starting and she's the one that comes back straight away, turned into the very rather drunk Saz, the funny Saz, the hilarious, I think we were rolling on the floor and I think we found a lot of ways how to smoke a cigarette, well I did, on that night and I think I remember me and you rolling about laughing about it and we've had so many funny nights like that. I remember, um, do you remember the karaoke one? I mean weren't we just brilliant? We were brilliant. We were in this booth, me and you, not to mention the raps that we've developed over the years that I think Kanye West has actually copied us more than anything else to be honest Saz. We are brilliant at rapping. We do birthday raps, for mitzvah raps. In fact we are available for any bar mitzvahs or bat mitzvahs, aren't we Saz? Okay? Saz, you are amazing. You've always been the funniest, funniest person when you've had a drink. You're the most sensible person in the whole world when you've not had a drink and I can always rely on you for anything and I know you're always there for me 110% whenever I've needed it. So I just want to say I'm glad that I became part of, we, I think we renamed it the HCP Posse when I finally joined and I am so glad to be part of that with you, with the others. So from me, I want to go Mwah! Happy birthday! Hello darling, it's me, um, Dal, in case the face didn't match the words. Um, I have known you, not intimately, thank goodness, but from the early days of the 739 um, Manchester High School bus, you and Rochelle sitting a few rows ahead, we were the cool ones on the back row, so you were always a little bit younger than me. But we never really, our love never blossomed until, scroll forward to age, I actually can't remember, but down and present, early job days, and still didn't quite get there until um, a few years later when the girls met and got together at school, and that was it. And then you became my sassler, and you became obviously one of my closest and best friend. Um, Saz, you're more than just a friend to me. Obviously our families are so close. You're my going away buddy here abroad. Um, you are second mummy to my kids. Second wife to my husband, which is nice. And um, we've shared so much. All I need to do is look across the room at you and we'll give each other a nudge. And I think we both know what we're probably having a go at somebody about or um, and I am just so happy and proud to be um, in your life and to be celebrating your 40th. Happy birthday, Sazzles! Love you, enjoy your night, don't drink too much. Hi, Saz, Cindy here. I'm just going to go on to how, how long I've known you for 11 years, and it doesn't seem like yesterday when I fir we first met at Auntie Mon's um, crash. Um, and this is the first time I met you and Olivia and then from then on we met each other at King David and we've been friends ever since and it's been 11 years, I can't believe it. We've had some laughs, oh have we had some laughs on our nights out, HCP, oh and you Saz always break out into song, always singing the musical, Saz knows the words and she doesn't care where she is, it's standing in the street, in the toilets, in the clubs, you're so funny, Saz. I love you so much. And what would I do without you, my personal assistant? Whenever I need to know or find out anything, who do we call? Sazzles. Sazzle knows everything. She's the organiser of everything. And I don't know what I'd do without you. I think you're absolutely amazing. I love you so much. And I hope you have an amazing birthday. Can't wait to celebrate with you. I, I just adore you. Have a fab time. Hello, I'm Adele. I'm Beth. And we're here to talk about our very, very, very good friend, Sarah. Um, I met Sarah when Ariel and Olivia were in nursery together. And we used to arrive to pick up the kids at quarter to five. And we landed up chatting here and there. And then Olivia and 
Ariel became friends and then she got pregnant and I got pregnant and Sam and the dog have been friends ever since. I met Sarah the first time at one of Ollie's, Ollie's parties. She came and she offered to have Ollie for me after I'd been in the hospital and she was amazing and I love her and we've been friends ever since. We have a good laugh. We have our moans, our laughs. We like to drink and have fun and she's amazing. We'd like, like to, to wish, wish you a, a very happy, happy birthday. birthday. Love you lots. Love you. Hi Saz, it's Justin, it's your hubby. <laughs> Hi Mummy, it's your favourite daughter Olivia. Hi Mummy, it's me Sam. I've known you since the 12th of July 2004 and since then you have fed me, clothed me, brought me up, helped me with my homework, been my personal taxi service, been my shopping helper, brushed my hair and getting the knots out while I'm screaming my, screaming my head off and being my mummy. I've known you since the 16th of October 2007 and since then you have annoyed me, fed me, helped me get dressed, buy me all the things I like, take me on fab holidays, give me pocket money, tells me off when I'm naughty. I've known you since 1994 when we met at university in Liverpool, even though we lived around the corner from each other growing up. Since then, We've got married, had two gorgeous kids, you've driven me mad, hacked me about everything, organised everything I do, screamed at me, yet despite all of this, I couldn't live without you and I love you very much. Happy 40th birthday, Mummy! We love you very much and hope you have a 